Dickey, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the Iona Gales and the St. Mary's Gales? It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Gales should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Next, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the board. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Set that screen away. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Fed the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. They're not giving them a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. Trying to pack it inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. He'll regroup the offense. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Turns it over. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Drains the shot. the dribble gives it up tries for two I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates Dick he's doing it all and then some at some point his team is going to have to step up and play at his level he's carrying them right now excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important on how talented guards like they have yeah that helps Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The point guard takes the feed. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The Gales have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Takes the shot. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good look. Inside. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Dump it inside. Inside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Stolen away. Now in transition, trying to score the other way. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. Number 20 gets the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked off on the dribble. Gives it up. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. He looks at the hoop. Double team now. Bad angle. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. With authority. Keeps the dribble as they reset. They work it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. If you watch it again, it's even better. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. You betcha. Gave it up. The center with the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. With anticipation defensively. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Gave it up. The center gets the pass. Controlling the ball. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard takes the pass. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for a good shot. Fakes it. They get that rejected. They just keep shutting the door. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He wants a three. Great shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> That's a 7-0 run. Had a momentary look from three-point land. There was no doubt about that one. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There's the pick. There's the roll. Moving it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They work the perimeter. He launches a three. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up fake. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Number two grabs it. And again, they look to run. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Both free throws go. Kicking back outside. Tries a three. Gets it to go. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Frustration right there. Goes up for two. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Gave it up. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Thanks, Aaron. They're working around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. The land. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. He nails the shot. Intercepted. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. Steals a pass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. He looks for three. Scorches the net. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He's the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For two, perfectly executed. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Think right now, gotta focus defensively. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Nice shot. Oh. 
Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from outside. That was nice. Up and inside. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That's good. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Check this one out. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From beyond the arc. <laughs> Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He fakes the shot, gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. They still don't score. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. the foul line. Count it. Well, the arc looked good. He takes the board. Fakes a jumper. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He goes for three, sinks the shot. Number 20 is fired up right now emotional. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Nice defensive rebound. They clear the head in transition. Men have got to get out and pull the lanes, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That spin move not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. and went the other way with the fake looking for the foul the land watch again dump it inside 
Pushing the basketball. Leans in. Shoots it. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. Cross court. He intercepts it. Long down court pass. There's a high screen. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Iona are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Takes away the pass for two. Perfectly executed. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Number 50 with the fake. Good fake. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Now they work it around the perimeter. Opportunity for two for one. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Shot clock is dead. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral. Pass. The bucket counts and one. Hey, great composure to take the foul and still get the shot off. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He'll go to the line. He got it. Gives it up, trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He had to hurry that one. He misses from the outside. At halftime, the Gales trail by one. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. In this highlight, we'll take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Second half of play, Dick. NCAA tournament game doesn't get much bigger than this, but of course it's going to be even bigger for the team that comes out on top when it's all over. Survive in advance, baby. Be able to move on. Because remember this, if you go to the loser's locker room, you're taking off the uniform for the last time. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. The power forward handles the feed and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up, easy one. The replay reveals the deal, baby.
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. In the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dick, look at the number of points on turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He throws it up from downtown. He buries it. Strip red. Buries it. And a momentary look from three point land. Tries for two. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard receives the ball. Iona have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Great defense. Called off the pro hop. Nice move to the hoop. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Misses the second shot. He grabs the board. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Tickles the twine. The center receives the pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Gales have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For two, they can't stop this guy, Dick. Want we'll to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. the shot they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works here we go on the break tries for two
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there on the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. For the deuce, they just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fires it. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to with ease, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Stolen away. The shooting guard handles the pass. Goes up for two. Was that beautiful or what? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Work it around the arc for the bucket. Finger roll. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Fast break opportunity here for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. circle they work it around the perimeter he beats him to the punch defensively what a terrific job footwork really excellent on a post play picks off the pass looking for a good shot I'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box picks off the lazy pass This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Misses the second. He gets the rebound. In the pit. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. To the line. Makes the shot. Gives it up. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Put it one on one. How to explode to the goal.
He goes to the line for the first time. Buries it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He gets that one to fall. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul there. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Nice fake. Goes up for two. Unbelievable, look at that close position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. In the paint. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Now the high screen. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He comes away with it. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing. Wow, look at him rotate over. The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaches have both told me that it's the little things their teams are finally starting to do, and that's why this one is so close tonight in the championship game. Thanks, Aaron. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Iona is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Dick. Hey, the defense did their job, baby. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem with a perimeter. Strips him clean. They push it up on the break. He drains the shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He blocks the shot. That's good. Tries one from three point land. Drains it. Steals 
the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ten seconds to put it up. Here's a drop step below block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Uh, uh, uh. One on the shot clock. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special one, feeding the post. I think he's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He shoots from right of the circle. They're on fire dick from behind the arm. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He launches the bomb, gets it to go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it go. Rims out. the perimeter way out on top controlling the ball and working around the perimeter for two and in and out he shoots from outside questionable shot selection there yeah that's horrible Mr. Nestle horrible shot selection Working around the perimeter. Number 50. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. For the deuce, they're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. Looking for a good shot. In the post. Goes up for two for the bucket. You have to get it earlier than that. Throws up the shot. He nails the bucket. They'll work it around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. Number two draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Good. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch.
Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of bounds. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Perfectly executed. Nice fake. High post screen. So effective that screen. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. But they don't have the great respect, so we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Looking for contact. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Pull-up jumper from way out. Goes in. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the outside, the offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. The Gales are in the bonus. Tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, no good. Number 20 snatches the offensive board. For the deuce, he rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Tries the three. Got it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Working around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. He draws a foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Play created a foul opportunity.
He makes his second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Tickles the twine. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. That was the difference in the game. The Gales is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.